20. Obviously, 2020 has been a year surrounded by COVID-19, but that doesn't mean all the other deadly diseases just disappeared. Breast cancer is a cancer we hear about often, but there's still so much research and physicians, researchers and physicians are learning about it every single day. That's right. To talk more about one of the largest breast cancer meetings in the world, bringing together some of the best and the best in their field, Dr. Virginia Kaklamani, breast oncologist at UT Health San Antonio, MD Anderson. Cancer Center is here joining us live for Leading SA. Good morning, Dr. Kaklamani. Good morning. All right, so what do you tell people who are waiting or putting off being screened for cancer because of COVID-19? They should not do that. Screening is extremely important. This is how we diagnose breast cancer early, and this is how we can cure it more. You know, we have 40,000 women and men dying of breast cancer in the U.S. every year alone. So it's extremely important that we prevent those deaths, and we can with early detection. And we're hearing less and less about cancer, specifically breast cancer, because, you know, 2020 has really been revolving around this pandemic. What types of challenges are you guys seeing at the Cancer Center revolved around this pandemic? issue. First of all, our mammography units and, and a big part of the hospital were closed in April and May. We couldn't do elective surgeries and many of these cancer surgeries were considered elective surgeries. So then there was a backlog. Patients were scared. They didn't want to come in for their appointments. We were doing video visits, but still this was not ideal by any means. We're back to normal regardless of these increasing numbers. We've all learned how to take precautions. Um, in our cancer center, we even treat uh, COVID-19 positive patients. They receive chemotherapy. Obviously, we take precautions for everybody else and for them, um, but but patients need to, to know that even with COVID, cancer doesn't go away. It's a big challenge. We have to change how we treat patients, but we've learned how to do that successfully. And you guys are still able to successfully put on this symposium. So for people out there, what is the 2020 San Antonio Breast Cancer Symposium? So this is the largest breast cancer symposium in the world. This started over 42 years ago here in San Antonio in a room right by the airport with uh, 20 uh, local oncologists learning about breast cancer. And now we have more than 8,000 people from over 90 countries coming to San Antonio. This year it's going to be virtual because of COVID, uh, but uh, we're hosting it starting on Tuesday and it's the, the largest a uh, uh, group of research that is going to be coming out that's going to change the standard of care come, you know, two weeks from now. All right. So, you know, we talked about some of those obstacles with COVID. How are you guys overcoming those challenges? Well, we're hosting a virtual meeting. All of our meetings now since April have been virtual. And this is a big issue because one of the one of the strengths of the symposium is having people come together, having people see each other, discuss things. And during those discussions is where new ideas come and new research comes. But we've, we've tried to do the best we can. We have live sessions. We have a lot of uh, uh, questions and answers that uh, our researchers can uh, participate in. We have uh, uh, roundtable discussions. And so we're hoping that, again, with the limitations of COVID, we're doing the best we can to be able to bring all the latest research to the world. All right, doctor, last question, then we'll let you go for the morning. Um, I assume that you've been in the hospitals, I mean, maybe just on the cancer floors, but what have you seen through this pandemic? Um, well, this has affected everybody. We've had uh, oncologists cover um, uh, general medicine and COVID floors because the general medicine physicians are covering ICU and, 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 and other floors. Uh, our oncology floor was converted recently again to a COVID floor, and so our patients had to move to another floor. All of these are not ideal, but but the hospital is, is ready. We have beds available. We have ICU beds available. We've learned from what happened in the past few, few months, and so we're even more uh, well prepared, but we're all looking forward to that vaccine. All right, Dr. Kakamani, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you.